Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to graph quadratic functions. Let's talk about the steps in graphing quadratic functions. So first step is for us to find the vertex of our quadratic function. Second step is to make a table of value. So in your table of value, make sure to include the vertex in your table of value. Step 3, assign the value of x and then solve for the value of y. Now I suggest if you're going to assign values of x, make sure that it is close to the x-coordinate of your vertex. And then last step is for you to plot and then connect the points. Okay, let's have an example. So for example, we're going to graph this quadratic function. So first step is for us to find the vertex of our quadratic function. Now, knowing that our quadratic function is written in standard form, we need to get the values of a, b, and c. So our values of a is 1, b is negative 2, c is 4. So to find our vertex, we will use the formula negative b over 2a for us to find the x-coordinate. So let's substitute a and b to our formula. Then simplifying that, we will have h is equal to 1. Now to find k, I substituted the value of h to our original function. So substituting 1 and replacing all the variable x by 1. Simplifying that, combining like terms, our k will be equal to 3. So our vertex will be 1. Three. Now that we have our vertex, it's time for us to proceed to our next step. Second step is for us to make a table of value. So for our table of value, let's place our vertex in the middle. Okay, so we have 1, 3 as our vertex. Third step, let's assign the values of x and solve for the value of y. Third step is assign values of x and solve for the value of y. Now in assigning values of x, I prefer you to use numbers that are closer to the x-coordinate of our vertex. So numbers that are closer to our vertex are 2 and 3 and 0, negative 1. Then now that we have values of x, let's substitute all those values and solve for the value of y. Now let's start first with if x is 0. If x is 0, then simplify, we have 4. So if x is 0, our y is 4. Let's substitute 2 to our original function. Substituting, simplifying, and then combine like terms, our value of y, if x is 2, is 4. Okay, then let's proceed. Let's substitute negative 1 to our original function. Simplifying that, combining like terms, our y will be equal to 7. Now let's try positive 3. So simplifying that and then combine like terms, we will also have 7. Okay, now that we have completed our table of value, it is time for us to plot our points to our rectangular coordinate system. So let's plot our points. Okay, let's start first with our vertex. We have 1, 3. It's located here. Then we start with 0, 4. Then 2, 4 negative 1, 7, and then 3, 7. Now that we plotted all the points, let's connect them by, by placing a parabola connecting the points. And that will be the graph of our quadratic function x squared minus 2x plus 4. Alright, okay. let's have another example. So for example, we're going to graph the quadratic function p of x is equal to negative x squared minus 6x plus 1. So First step is for us to find the vertex of the quadratic function. Now, since this quadratic function is in standard form, let's get the values of a, b, and c. So our value of a is negative 1, b is negative 6, and c is 1. Now, let's use the formula in finding our x-coordinate of our vertex. So h is equal to negative b over 2a. Let's substitute the values of a and b. So we have this, negative negative 6 over 2 times negative 1. Simplifying that, our h is equal to negative 3. Now, for our k, I substitute the value of h to our original function. So, substituting the values of h to our quadratic function, let's simplify and then combine like terms. 
we will have our k being equal to 10. Now, now that we have our h and k, we can now write our vertex. So our vertex is negative 3, 10. Now that we have our vertex, let's proceed to our second step. Our second step is to make a table of value. For our table of value, place our vertex at the middle. So we have negative 3, positive 10 for our vertex. Then, step number 3, assign values of x and solve for the value of y. Now let's assign values of x. So I again, I recommend numbers that are closer to our x coordinate of our vertex. For our right side, we have negative 2, negative 1, and for our left side, we have negative 4, negative 5. Then let's substitute the values of x to our original function. So let's have negative 4, then simplify. Okay, combine like terms. Our y, if x is negative 4, will be 9. Okay, now let's try substituting negative 2 to our function. So let's substitute, then simplify, then combine like terms. Our answer will be also 9. And for our, ayan. then let's proceed to substituting negative 5. Substitute, and then simplify, and then combine like terms we will have 6. And last one, let's substitute negative 1 to our original function. Simplify, combine like terms, we will have 6. Now that we completed our table of values, it is time for us to plot our points in our rectangular coordinate system. Okay, let's plot our points. So let's start first with our vertex, negative 3, 10. It's located here. Then negative 4, 9. And then negative 2, 9. And then negative um, 1, 6, and negative 5, 6. Okay? After plotting all your points, you can now connect them and draw your parabola. So your parabola is opening downwards, and that is the graph of our quadratic function. All right, let's have an example. So for example, we're going to graph this quadratic function. So first step is for us to find the vertex of our quadratic function. Since this quadratic function is written in vertex form, we can now get our h and k by changing the sign of our h, positive 3, the opposite of that is negative 3, and then copying our k, which is negative 3. So our vertex is negative 3, negative 3. Now that we have our vertex, it's time for us to proceed to step 2 make a table of value. So, prepare our table of value and then place our vertex at the middle. So, negative 3, negative 3. Step 3, we assign the values of x and solve for the value of y. Now, let's assign values of x. Like I said, numbers that are closer to our x-coordinate of our vertex. So, negative 3, we have negative 2, negative 1, and negative 4, negative 5. Then, let's substitute our values of x and solve for the value of y. So, substitute negative 4 to our original function. So, replacing all x by negative 4, simplifying, we will have negative 2. Ayan. So, we have negative 2. And then, let's substitute negative 2 to our original function. Combine like terms. Simplify and then combine like terms. It will also be equal to negative 2. Let's substitute negative 5 to our original function. Combine like terms. Get the square of negative 2. Combine like terms. It will be equal to 1. And let's substitute negative 1 to our original function. Combine like terms. Get the square of 2. Subtract 4 and 3, we will have also positive 1 as our y. Now that our table of value is complete, it is time for us to plot the points in our rectangular coordinate system. So let's plot the points. Let's start first with our vertex. We have negative 3, negative 3. Okay, it's located here. We have negative 2, negative 2. 
we have negative 4, negative 2, and then negative 1, 1, and last one is negative 5, 1. Then plotting all the points, you can now connect the points by drawing a parabola. And this will be the graph of our quadratic function. Alright, let's proceed to our last example for today. For example, we're going to graph this quadratic function. Now, first step is for us to find the vertex of this quadratic function. So since this is written in our vertex form, we can now get our vertex by changing the sign of negative 5. It will be our x-coordinate and then copying positive 4, which will be our y-coordinate. Now that we have our vertex, we can now proceed to our step 2, make a table of value. So for our table of value, let's locate or let's place our vertex at the middle. So 5, 4. Step 3, assign the values of x and solve for the value of y. Now again, like I said, let's use values of x that are closer to our x-coordinate of our vertex. So we have 6 and 7. 4 and 3. Then after that, let's solve for the value of y. Then let's substitute the value of 4 to our original function. Simplify, combine like terms, our value of y, if x is 4, it will be equal to 3. Okay, now let's substitute 6 to our original function. Combine like terms, simplify, and another combine like terms, it will be equal to and next, let's substitute 3 to our original function. Simplify, combine like terms, it will be equal to 0. And then, let's substitute 7 to our original function. Simplify, combine like terms, we will have also 0. After completing your table of value, it's time for us to plot your points in your rectangular coordinate system. Okay, let's start first with our vertex. So, 5, 4 is located here. 4, 3 is located here. Okay. 6, 3 is located here. And then 3, 0 is located here. And 7, 0 is located here. Then connect your points by drawing a parabola opening downwards. And that will be the graph of our quadratic function. Alright. Now that you already know how to graph quadratic functions it is your turn to try it please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills that's it for today again i'm teacher justin goodbye god bless and stay safe see you on my next video